This is Will from Wheelbright Design and I'm back with a video to announce that Lottie Files have actually just released a new plugin for Figma which allows you to create animations directly within Figma for Lottie. And what is a Lottie? So Lottie is a JSON based animation file that allows you to ship animations on any platform. Uh, they tend to be 600 times smaller than a GIF and much uh, better than a video because you can use them for things like interactions such as buttons and things like that. They are SVG based so they're vector format and that means they scale perfectly no matter what device you're on. They're always pixel perfect. So let's take a look at some of the actual designs uh, that Lottie have created so we can explore what it is a little more. So if I enter this design file and this was created by the team over at Lottie Files we can see there's a ton of examples here and we can see how this will actually work. So to install the plugin, all you have to do is go over to the uh, resources button here and you can search for the plugin here. You can see I've got it down below in my recents, but you can search for it here or you can visit the uh, community and search for it here, Lottie Files, and head down to plugins and you'll see it's here and you can try it out for free. So you just need to sign up so that when you load the plugin, it will connect with your account. So I'm already logged in and we now have this new tab over here called Export to Lottie. And we can see here that you can actually view some of your animations. So if I go back to my design and press Shift E, we can see which ones already have some prototypes. Here we can see uh, this Twitter heart one. So if I select this one, or I select it from down here, we can see the animation playing in here. And if we have a look a little closer at this animation, we can see that it was created in Figma and these interactions, we've got an after delay of one millisecond. We're gonna to navigate to the next frame, so from four to five, and it's gonna be a linear animation over hundred milliseconds. So uh, why does this feature matter? It will allow designers uh, product and visual to design and animate using the tools they've already familiar with, so Figma, and that allows them to create micro interactions without having to learn another tool. And we can kind of dive into that a little more by looking at the old workflow, which would be if you're doing your old workflow, you would create your illustrations in Figma or Illustrator or whatever, in this case, Figma. You would then Adobe, open Adobe Illustrator to import the SVG, clean it up and convert them into shapes. You then export that into After Effects. You'd add your motion in After Effects and then you'd use the Lottie Files plugin to export it as a Lottie. Now this is a much simpler um, workflow. So you can design in Figma, as we can see here with all these different designs. We can open up the Lottie Files plugin, which is free and only took seconds, as you can tell. You can then auto animate single frames using presets, which I'll show you shortly, or you can create your own animations using the interactions here and then export those. <clears throat> so let's have a look at an example uh, where we can actually just automate that. So if we select these three frames here and then go back here, click export to Lottie, and we can see it's actually applied an animation by default here. So we've not added any interactions at all, it has just automatically done it. So it's even simpler if you just wanna do frame by frame animation and use the automated tools within Lottie Files, which lowers the uh, learning curve significantly. <clears throat> From the plugin itself, you can insert it as a GIF into your uh, Figma. So you can use it in prototypes or you can use the interactions themselves in the prototypes and you can also save it to your workspace, which then saves it to your Lottie Files workspace, uh, available, making it then available for uh, uh, review and going through that process. And also you then have the assets to share with the engineering team or however you wanna do it. Because Lottie Files are production ready assets that you can use directly in your code. So let's have a look at a few more examples here. Let's have a look at this star one. So first, I'm just gonna play the uh, prototype itself. And while that's loading, we're gonna have a look at the interactions here. So this interaction, we can see after a delay of 10 milliseconds, it will navigate to star one. And we got a nice spring, a gentle spring over 500 milliseconds. And then we've got another one here and it's the same. 
and it looks like we're using the same one between each one. So let's have a look at that. And if I go back to the beginning of that one, so that's our animation there. Okay, so let's have a look at that in the uh, plugin. Let's just run the plugin, which loads really quickly as well, which is really nice. That always helps. Okay, so let's select the stars, click export to Lottie, and let's click this one. And we can see our animation is looking really good. So it's set to a loop, um, and we can then insert that GIF. So it's just going to convert it to a GIF directly from it within the plugin. And then it's added it here. So then if I add this to an artboard or a frame and click play, we can see that that GIF is now playing. Or we could just use our uh, prototype here. <coughs> so I'm not going to save that one. Just delete the file here. So we need to talk about uh, best results and how best to actually use these um, when we're creating these. So you want to keep all the layers in all frames in the same order. And what that means is that when you're creating your frames, that all your layers are in the same order. So if I open up star zero and then star five, we can see the layer names are the same and they're all in the same order. And that way the, the Lottie Files plugin knows how to animate it. And the same goes for Figma as well. Figma then can use the auto animation tools within the interactions to uh, do the smart animations. So it's always best practice to keep your layers named the same and in the same order. <clears throat> and to not delete any layers within the frame, instead you should hide them to zero if you're wanting to hide an element in the second frame. So for example, in star zero, maybe we don't want the star to appear here, we would just hide it. And therefore in this one, We've still got the same layers, it's just hidden in this one and it's available in this one. So we're not actually deleting anything and that way we're keeping the structure the same between the frames, which helps the auto animation and also the Lottie Files plugin. So there are a few limitations uh, currently and these might be changed in the future, but right now there's a couple of uh, limitations and we can have a look at those. So nested frames, that is something that you can't currently do. So by nested frames, I mean if I draw a uh, frame here and then add a frame inside the frame and we can see there's a frame there and there's a frame there. That's what I mean by nested frames. So right now nested frames do not work. You only have one frame and everything within that frame is what will be animated. So you can do a frame to frame and you can animate between these two but you wouldn't then have a frame within the next frame because it's animating between the frames. So any uh, nested frames will break your animation. So that is the first limitation. Uh, the next one is that Figma components and text layers are not yet supported. Um, so if you're looking to use text, right now this won't work, but what you could do is you could go and, uh, I'm trying to remember where it is, but you can outline the stroke and therefore you create um, some shape layers. So if you outline the stroke, it's now, it's still text, but it's not editable text. It is actually um, a shape at this point. So that's how you can get away with using text um, with the Figma plugin, the Lottie plugin, sorry. And that's how you can use it for now because text, editable text like this, um, where you can come back and change it as much as you like is currently unsupported and that goes for components as well. So if you're using say a button component and you're trying to animate it as part of your uh, design system or your design library, for now you would need to detach that button and not have it as a component and also make sure there's no frames nested as well. So components are currently unsupported. <clears throat> Uh, when it comes to effects, only the drop shadow effect is currently supported. So any others, I think that it might be things like blur. So if I just draw a quick shape here, whoops, not sure why I did that. And then head to our design tab and effects. So drop shadow supported, 
but inner shadow, layer blur, and background blur are currently unsupported. So that's just something to keep aware of um, when you're creating your animations for now. And every gradient used must have the same number of color stops across uh, frames. So not entirely sure what that uh, limitation means right now, but there are some limitations when it comes to gradients. So another thing to pay attention to. So if we have a look at some of these examples here, we can see that there's a few different ones. So we've got some micro uh, animations or interactions in the form of this Twitter heart. Uh, we've got some UI animations, and let's have a look at this one, because it's quite cool. Just reopen that plugin again. Select day night toggle. So we've got a nice um, animation here where it's going from day to night within a toggle. And you could actually turn this into an interactive toggle in your code. And that's a good use of using a Lottie file within um, a UI component. Another one, like I said before, is this uh, Twitter heart reanimated. If I just like this one again, whoops, wrong one. So that's a nice little micro interaction, some feedback from perhaps when you click uh, a heart button, you get this animation. Um, so that's a nice example of a micro interaction. Uh, we've got another one with an animated logo, which we can see with the Slack logo. So if you wanted to animate your logo, this could be for a nice splash screen or when you open an application or even for loading, you could use your logo. You can do that. And then we have some others down here, such as these patterns, which you could use for kind of filling spaces um, to add to like the aesthetics of your site. And this skeleton loading one, which I don't think has any interactions applied so far. So we can quickly add some uh, by selecting the three frames. So bear in mind, there are no interactions made with Figma here. So we're gonna generate these with Lottie. And we've got this nice skeleton loading animation here, which you could use instead of uh, your image being downloaded. So while your image is still loading, you could display something like this instead. So that is uh, an over kind of an overview of the new Figma uh, Lottie files plugin and the power you can uh, use it for. Um, oh, that's a bouncing ball one. This one looks quite cool because it's got a nice bit of uh, squash in there. Let's have a quick look at that one. That's called bouncing ball. There we go. So this one could probably do with a little bit of uh, animation curves tweaking. So it's like a nice smooth animation down up and squat. Um, so the idea with this plugin is not to actually replace the After Effects workflow. Instead, it's to offer um, another alternative um, for those who perhaps aren't motion designers. Uh, maybe you just want to create some nice um, micro interactions and you can do that directly from within Figma without having to take that giant steep learning curve of uh, using After Effects, learning how to use After Effects and create those really complicated animations and following that big workflow. This is also much cheaper as well. Um, you're, not, you're not having to buy an additional license to After Effects. You're not having to hire someone who's an After Effects pro. Uh, you can do it directly from Figma to Lottie and create production ready assets. So this is a really nice low uh, entry level into creating motion design and adding motion design to your product designs and UI designs. So do check it out. It's free to sign up to Lottie Files and to check out this plugin. And I'm really excited to see what you guys make. So let me know in the comments below. Share links to your Lottie Files on the Lottie Files site if you add them up as public files. And I'm really keen to see what you bring or build, sorry. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.